Good morning. I'm not even sure exactly where we are. We're outside of Hurricane, Utah, somewhere. In the Jeep. Uh, to I, Tokerville Falls. Tokerville Falls. That's where we're at right now. Oh, buddy. So I slept in here last night, and I actually had a pretty cool deal set up there. He slept out in the cot outside, but what happened? Well, it started getting windy. Anytime there was a gust of wind, I got about a handful of sand that flew right in my face. So. <laughs> Just came inside the Jeep. Man, it got cold last night out here too. We ended up both in here in the Jeep. I had my, I had my blanket, you got your bivy sack, mm -hmm. and I got a little mini pillow here in the Jeep. I'll show you my sleeping setup. It actually worked out really good. Most of you guys know that I have sleep apnea, so I have to sleep with a, with a CPAP machine. So what I did is I actually got one of those Goal Zero battery pack chargers. And then I have a portable, um, I don't know if you can see this or not. I have a portable sleep apnea machine, this little small one here that I was actually able to plug in to this Goal Zero power pack and it worked great. My sleep apnea machine actually has its own battery pack, but what I've read online is that it only lasts about six hours, which probably would have got me through tonight, but I just wanted to try the big battery pack, so that's what I did. Now it's time to try out the uh, new little cooker stove that I got the other day. There we go. Got the little camp stove going and it looks like it's working good. So now we just climb back in the Jeep, get warm again, and uh, go from there. So here's the spot that we're at. There's the Jeep over there. We're down in this canyon. Check out these waterfalls. How cool is that, right? And it drops off down into this hole. All the way down into there. I kind of want to get the drone out and fly it up and down this canyon a little bit, up the waterfall. Woo, it's cold, my hands are shaking. The cool part about this is, is that uh, we're in, we can actually drive the Jeep across the top. So I think we're gonna park the Jeep like right up here and then we'll fly the drone up, uh, up through the waterfalls that way. That'll be awesome. Well, so far today has been off to a great start wake up to an amazing view of the waterfalls warm up in the jeep get everything situated and take our time it's perfect the sun is starting to come up along the ridge here you can see behind me right where the, the sun line <laughs> it, actually you can't the mountains just look like white on the on the viewfinder there you can see them you can see where the sun's coming down so it's starting to warm up here a little bit and get a little bit nicer. Once the, the sun gets down here in the valley, I'm gonna fly the drone up through the canyon and I think that's what we're gonna do right now.
another successful drone run. It was really sketchy down in that bowl at the lower falls and trying to get it in there. It was a tight squeeze. It only had like like maybe eight feet of room. Ah, he's throwing rocks at me. <laughs> but it only had like eight feet of room on either side to try and bring it up and fly it right up there. But got some pretty cool shots. I don't know, worth it. All right, so here's the upper falls that drop down into the lower falls. And we decided we're gonna be adventurous. We're gonna cross, we're gonna drive across the upper falls and then we're gonna follow that uh, trail and see if we can make it out of here. We have no idea where the trail goes, but uh, we got a full tank of gas and nothing else to do, so let's go for it. Whoa, dude. I've never driven across the waterfall before. That's cool. Sweet. Oh, that's a dip. Oh. <laughs> Boulder right in the middle of the trail right here. Oh, tons of room, tons of room. We're good. So technically there's a group of other guys that are in Jeeps and stuff that are supposed to be coming up the trail the other way um, here in about 10 minutes. So hopefully when we encounter them, we can either make it out ahead of them or when we encounter them, there's a spot to get over so they can go past us. But uh, we're just kind of being adventurous right now. This trail is a little bit more technical than the basic one that we did yesterday, but I would say it's right in line with, <laughs> with uh, what we went through earlier in the morning on our own. So it looks pretty technical, but fun. I think we're going to cut over <laughs> to some GoPro footage for this next part here because uh, I'm going to have to hang on, I think. So, it's way worse than it is. Really? That top boulder does have a bunch of black paint on it though from people scraping. Scraping. The on it. We've got uh, we've got a river crossing or a little creek crossing that we have to do. Here we go. <laughs> Doing good man. Doing good. And here's the big one. Ooh. There we go. We got it. It looked way worse than it actually was. I keep forgetting my tires are like huge up to my thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we gotta cross this still, but that's shallow. Right? <laughs> Another big boulder, look at that. Gnarly sucker. side view mirror off on this <laughs> rock face on the left. This really makes me want to get a Jeep right now. Whoa! Maybe we should take your bar off whatever that thing is. My sway bar. Your sway just... bar. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. There you go. Dude, you didn't even need my help. That was perfect.
this view, you guys. What an amazing day. All right, I got outside. I'm gonna film an epic rock crawling shot. You wanna see it? Here he comes. <laughs> It just occurred to us that that trail right there is our way out and it's like straight up so that should be fun there we go straight up <laughs> You need one of those like leveler ball things on your dash so you can see what angle we're at. <laughs> they have those little globe levelers. Ugh. Holy crap, look at this. Oh, this is the hard part. Here. This is the There's hard. Loose. This is what makes it. Oh, look at that ridge. It's like a big ridge. I might, I might have to get out and guide you up this thing. Push that boulder out of the way. Just push that big <laughs> boulder up. <laughs> Just push it. Yeah, oh, and then look at if we make a mistake, how far down it is. Oh. I almost go left, yeah. I just gotta miss this. <laughs> Up that part. <laughs> yeah. We still got this. Oh. All right. That's kind of a cool shot out the window. <laughs> uh, just gonna have to go straight up in here, dude. Maybe a little hug the right. There's not a lot of room, though. Uh, you got about six inches. You're good now. Oh yeah, we got him. Yeah. I thought that was gonna be way worse than it was. Yeah, it was just that loose oh. rock. That loose rock was the only hard part, really. Right. So it kept Woo. kicking, kept kicking the rocks out from underneath my wheels. I was getting loose track. That was awesome. That was way fun. What you doing up there? Taking a leak? <laughs> we uh, decided we're gonna stop and collect a, a rock as it keeps it sake for completing the. Nephi's Twist Trail. What an awesome ride it's been up through this whole canyon. And uh, it's just gonna get better. Unless we encounter something crazy, I think I'm gonna wrap the vlog up now so we can just enjoy the rest of the day. And uh, we're gonna go camping again in another spot. And if you wanna see more of our shenanigans and adventures, uh, click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Click the i card to watch yesterday to see us getting here from Las Vegas. And then uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. Turn your notifications on and you'll know when tomorrow's vlog's up. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.